what's going on. Um, so thanks for attending this talk. Um, we were, would like to tell you something about the challenges and benefits of using open source uh, spatial in a large marine construction company. And to start off, how do I go to the next slide? Just click this. Yeah. Sorry, I like to stand up. Um, we've got four minutes, so I thought deciding a, 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 a presenting four slides. So what are the activities of an org? Because I don't know if you're familiar with the company, so it would be nice to tell you something about it. Uh, which tools do we use? Uh, but then uh, the most important thing is like what are our benefits and what are our challenges because there are many. Um, so just a very short introduction about the company. Um, it's a large marine construction company so we build offshore wind farms, we build uh, harbors, we build on the right hand side you see uh, uh, like the Netherlands has a lot of water but also a lot of barriers to keep the water out so we construct those and as you can imagine it all involves uh, geo-information. Zara and I are working at the GIS team. That's only uh, seven people at the moment, and uh, we try to make sure that the company is uh, GIS uh, spatially aware. But before that, there's been a lot of activity around uh, geospatial information. So I give the word to Zara to explain to you how we deal with this. Hi, uh, <laughs> I'm Zara Jawed, and I'm the GIS developer at Vanort. And, um, going into which uh, open source tools we use. Um, we get data from all kinds of sources. So uh, some from the survey department uh, identifying dangerous objects and some from the design department, uh, engineering, uh, also uh, <laughs> sensors from the field for projects. And then we usually have to transform and process the data put it in PostGIS uh, and uh, use GeoServer and QGIS for making it accessible. And uh, we also have a solution from uh, Terrestris, um, which you see a screenshot of, uh, where we visualize the data and make it accessible. So um, that's, that's one example. Um, what is really great about it is uh, the number of users that we can have. So we, we have the freedom to uh, really add external and uh, internal users, as many as we want. Uh, yeah, and um, we can also use it on vessels. Uh, what you see also on the right is an example app that we developed uh, for the company for internal and external users as well completely using open layers and um, view front-end framework. Uh, and uh, this was to identify uh, uh, climate, uh, climate risk areas. And uh, it's used for finding out what are the good locations for uh, uh, starting projects. And uh, yeah, we could customize it as we want without paying for <laughs> licenses. And um, when we ran into trouble, of course, there was the help of the community and uh, plenty of things to find online when uh, debugging. <laughs> so that was great. Yeah, so finally, uh, the challenges, there is many. And uh, well, I really liked the presentation before on large raster data sets because that's also a challenge we have. So <laughs> maybe we should have another chat. Uh, because we have a large number of employees, we have 5,000 people worldwide working with this geospatial information, want to have access to this geo information, and a large number of users that does stress our uh, infrastructure because, well, how many people want to ask for large data sets at the same time? And uh, yeah, that means that we have large quantities of layers. The layers are replaced like every day, every, uh, new designs, new survey data. So we have a, a really fast. Uh, we need really fast tools to process that and make them available again. Many large raster data sets. Um, and, uh, well, always a problem. We use open source geo, prefer preferably, but the world is not only open source geo. So we also challenge with uh, clients that require non-open source uh, data formats. And how do we deal with that? So, uh, yeah, if you have any thoughts or comments or willingness to help or ideas, just uh, contact us and, uh, yeah. We're open for, for help and suggestions, so thanks for your attention.